Actually, the main problem is the, the well, the debate on the memories uh, uh, fills the most part of the uh, all public debates at all. There are, it's uh, the debate on the memory overwhel is overwhelming uh, over all other debates in, in, in Poland, which is uh, uh, not very typical, I think, but. Uh, I consider it to be a bit a problem. So, if uh, if I may say as a historian, but I think uh, I actually our governments uh, uh, pay too much attention to history because they try to prioritize in their agenda uh, the one kind of historical narrative. So they are. It was a part of political program of uh, uh, ruling, uh, currently ruling uh, political elite, law and justice. They, they went for power uh, to impose their own historical narrative. It was, uh, uh, it was called um, uh, uh, struggling with the pedagogics of shame. Uh, it was the term coined by, by the uh, right-wing uh, movement in Poland that uh, in the previous years uh, the history, uh, uh, the historians and the teaching of history was focused mostly on uh, uh, describing black pages of Polish history and now we should uh, uh, promote and we should show the glorious, the heroic pages of Polish history to ourselves, but mostly to the world. World should recognize our heroism. And this became uh, the, um, uh, the mainstream of uh, Polish diplomacy, uh, diplomacy in, 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 this, uh, in this time, uh, in this, uh, since uh, um, 2015 mostly and uh, I consider it to be a um, uh, significant uh, mistake of, of the government because it put, the po it put Poland on the collision course with uh, many other countries, with Ukraine for instance, because uh, which is our uh, natural, let's say natural, it should be our natural uh, ally, but uh, with uh, the m predominance of uh, historical narrative in uh, in uh, uh, Polish diplomacy, uh, m we find our, we find ourselves at kind of a symbolic war with Ukraine right now over the uh, m uh, wartime past because uh, the, the, there are uh, differences in uh, between Poland and Ukraine in approaching, for instance, the history of so-called Wojn massacre. From my point of view, it's like to uh, uh, to approach national history like a kind of national resources, like oil or coal or gold. This is, but th th to be valid, this kind of resource should be considered worldwide. So we m have to urge people everywhere to con to uh, recognize Polish heroism because we deserve. This is the po exactly what uh, the government uh, thinks right now. We should we deserve much more than other nations because we got very peculiar history, history full of heroism, and no other nation got so heroic uh, and uh, so heroic, so incredible history as Poles. Even Jews, even Jewish history wasn't that heroic that uh, as, as uh, Polish history. It's a very important part of of. Uh, uh, political narrative in Poland uh, these days uh, and uh, it's a f uh, verbatim quotation from Polish Prime Minister that Polish uh, history should be queen of the world's memory. This is what he said. We shouldn't talk about uh, the uh, uh, uncomfortable pages of Polish history. We shouldn't. We should uh, promote because this is the argument. Every nation promotes what's the brilliant, the most brilliant part of its history. So we we shouldn't talk about uh, some uh, gray or black uh, issues in our history. We shouldn't talk about uh, Poles. Uh, 
uh, snitching on Jews to Germans during World War, uh, Second World War, we should talk about Poles uh, saving Jews uh, and only about that kind of events. We should talk about Polish uh, uh, martyrology, about uh, Polish suffering, about Polish heroism, about the heroic deeds of uh, uh, Polish heroes, soldiers, uh, politicians, and so on and so on. Mostly, obviously, related to uh, rightist outlook to the world. So the hero left is a heroism uh, somehow, somehow disappears in that great picture. As of now, they are still free of uh, direct political pressure. But, but for instance, uh, uh, we've got very um, scandalic story of uh, the Museum of the Second World War, uh, which uh, director and all the um, uh, uh, advisory board uh, uh, was purged by law and justice uh, a year ago and replaced with uh, uh, loyal officials, uh, loyal clerks of law and justice, they, which turned very unique, very wonderful really and uh, uh, insightful uh, exhibition there with a kind of uh, uh, patriotic spectacle and patriotic uh, bragging about uh, Polish heroism and about uh, uh, Polish saints and obviously they involved um, into the exhibition narrative about uh, uh, heroic um, uh, uh, tradition of Polish church. Uh, they remodeled, uh, actually altered the, the exhibition uh, with uh, rightist nationalistic agenda in mind. This is basically what happened. Actually, we got uh, this kind of Institute of National Remembrance, which is very important, rich and influential institution. Uh, perhaps you can, uh, say you, you should see on the internet, there is a movie promoting Polish history. Uh, uh, it's a uh, cartoon movie, two or three minutes. It's, uh, uh, I, it's if I remember, it's uh, entitled An Invincibles. Uh, invincible ones about uh, the, the Poles are those who are invincible. The whole, we were trade, we, we, we were betrayed by the world in, in Yalta, in Potsdam, after the Second World War, but we always uh, uh, fought bravely on every front of the Second World War. So now uh, it's the conclusion, we deserve uh, retribution for our suffering and for our um, you know, heroic stance uh, in the past.